Well, how's it going, Kingsman? Welcome back to another Gettysburg battle. Um, this is, of course, in the series, we had day one, which I will link in the description. This is Culp's Hill, guys. So this is day two. Um, after, uh, historically, obviously, if you, I'm not going to spoil the last video about who won. Um, but this is day two where the Union had dug into some of the high ground. And uh, Culp's Hill was one of those. Obviously, you had... You know, a lot of high ground that the Union had. The Confederates were advancing to attack on several different fronts. This is just part of it. I'm over doing the Battle of Little Round Top in the next video. Uh, but like I said, Culp's Hill. We have the Union defending here. You have the 11th Corps. So you have uh, Geary, or Brigadier General Geary, his forces. In this one, there is definitely a numerical disadvantage the Union has. Um, they historically barely held on and i think they actually had a whole new core come to reinforce them and save them now you can see some more of that iron brigade okay do we, how much how much of that brigade do we have here oh wow some depleted units though these are very small units compared to the first day so they must have taken some heavy losses here still looking very snazzy um probably some of the best uniforms in the game uh, in this mod now, I am holding the left side already. My artillery is firing. I had a lot of artillery. So the advantage the Union has is the guns. Now, if you look at the map, though, there is a lot of hills, especially Culp's Hill. Being a huge hill, that's going to be tough to fire artillery across. Obviously, he's already starting to fire some artillery here. Probably trying to go for some of the enemy artillery, trying to get rid of it. That's the only thing that's going to save us. Um... Now, the Confederates usually over here, um, where he lightened up this Confederate force. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Turning into a slaughter. Yeah, but uh, so the Confederates were obviously starting to shift over everything. The rule was an hour. We have an hour. Granted, this battle is, you can see, it's not going to last that long, I promise. Um,. But they had an hour. We had to hold this hill for an hour or hold this position for an hour. Obviously, in the very beginning, we began to be like, okay, they're probably not going to attack this massive artillery battery. I mean, I have so many guns ranged along here. So, yeah, they're obviously hitting this hill pretty hard. There is a lot of Confederates starting to advance. Oh, he routed an artillery piece. Wow, that's actually really surprising. Uh, but, yeah, massive amount of Confederates just advancing down here. So they're going to go for the uh, hill. Pope's Hill, and uh, we have a small amount of reinforcements. Not a lot. Yeah, look at this. There's so many Confederates just advancing here. Uh, there is there is these reinforcements. We didn't get them until, I think, I can't remember exactly, 65 maybe? I had three. He had a couple, but these are really small units too. Like, you know. Um, now, the cool thing is, there's some earthworks here. It's like the Union worked all night, and they have these nice little trenches to hide in chopped down some trees cleared it you know they know this is a desperate defense they know they must hold and uh there's not a lot holding here so you know you know you wouldn't want to be one of these guys i feel like but the artillery battery here this is six guns already getting hit pretty hard they have a tough job trying to uh, get this Hill. Now I am blasting away at the Confederate position as they are charging or marching across this open field. I am utilizing every little bit of man. I'm using everything I can. I'm hitting them with everything you got. But everything I've got is going straight at the enemy. And uh just a taste. I was envisioning what Pickett's charge is gonna be like gonna be amazing that's what's gonna be speaking of which that will be not um that'll be the next video after oh, two two videos in two videos we will have that coming up oh my goodness they've already taken out so many men some nice juicy shots the artillery holy cow Let's get a look at the guns that are doing such vicious firing here. Oh, I can barely even see them. Yeah, look at this gun battery. Look how many guns I have. Just 
inspiring here. And now I do have a hill, but like I said, they are even advancing, guys. They are even pushing this way. They're obviously going straight for that hill. I feel like I maybe what the rule should have been they have to attack and take both before the time's up, but you know, then you're just forcing them to walk into the guns, and that's just kind of plus they would just take this and then probably sweep down if they took it. But yeah, you can see we've we've softened them up just a tiny bit. Not a whole lot to be honest with how many forces they actually have. Um, nothing has advanced to Culp's Hill just yet, but the artillery is still getting hit really hard by all the Confederate guns. And they're still trying to counter battery this Confederate position. Oh, they even came back. Look at that. Yeah, so the veterans have a lot of guns sitting up right here. You can see like 12 guns or so. Huge left flank by the Confederates. And uh, it looks like we actually have the, the uh, Union pushing forward some troops to hold this river. Maybe stop them, but I mean, there's so many. It's like six, six regiments, seven, maybe seven, yeah. No, it's six. Six regiments. But very, very massive units. Good luck stopping them with one, you know. I mean, they, it looks like they have more and more pushing up. But now you're starting to see the appearance of more and more on the forward attack. Marching down this road, the cornfield. I think it's a cornfield. Or just pasture, I guess. We may actually look at this. We got some wavering here. Oh my goodness, that was a juicy shot. It's a nice angle, but of course, falling back from that and probably gonna start uh, pushing troops along this hill. You know, that's honestly pushing troops along this hill would definitely be out of range of my guns, um, which you know would make that pretty easy, pretty easy to stay away. This hill is still just lit up with artillery. Am I still firing, trying to fire at these guys? I am. What units are these anyway? Let's see, we got the Georgia boys from Georgia. That's a lot of, a lot of Georgian troops. Do we have Louisiana? I believe there's Louisiana troops. I don't know where they are, but I know they have some. I should switch targets and pick off these guys because um, and at this point I begin mobilizing my regiments down here it was very obvious that we were going to need to defend here he's pushing all his reserves over we have our first volleys I think oh actually I just realized the sound look at them they're just pushing across the river in, in, against the hail of bullets yeah, they're already pushing up and out flanking the Union here. They're actually gonna have to fall back. Oh, this this artillery crew is getting hit pretty hard. That's not looking good. Artillery is so cool. Like the sound effects, the artillery whistling. But yeah, though, the real attack is definitely coming in force. They are even flanking even further left. 548 man units. Goodness. <laughs> this is so many. This is so much. This is so much. Again, so little. We didn't have our reserves yet. Oh, man. They just keep pouring across. There's nothing to stop them. And into the forest they go. Now the Union, of course, farming up here. I think he was trying to delay them with the uh, 137th. Oh, artillery now focusing and softening him up. But he's going to get into position on the hill. Um, the problem is we don't have a lot defending this hill yet. I was moving, but man, they're moving so slow. 
They were so slow moving up with the trees. I'm starting to shift even more and more of my forces over here. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we're getting the first volleys up on this hill. As the Confederates are getting kind of close. These guys... Oh yeah, my artillery, it was a stupid thing. So uh, my artillery crew was starting to shift over and they walked right in front of the guns. And I lost one of the artillery pieces. No biggie, it'll probably come back. Um, I am focusing down more infantry. Oh yeah, I got a... Uh, I hit a general. Caused him to rout. Totally rout. He was, uh, you know, right in the way of me hitting this art... I'm trying to justify, you know, I didn't... Okay, I didn't actually aim for the general, okay? All right, for, uh, for, I think it was Sharpie. <laughs> I didn't aim for your general. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, you, you just keep messing around. You give me a hard time. A stray artillery shell killed his general. That's right, though. Um, so, yeah, artillery crew on the hill broke. Um, we still haven't gotten reinforcements up. Oh, man, we are getting hit so, we're gonna get hit so hard on this hill. Hard to see, like, if you zoom in. I want to get, like, I want to showcase how awesome this mod is, but, like, yeah, there we go. Let's just do some of this. Some of these cinematic shots. You have the Confederates, the 23rd Virginia, Virginia, pushing up, up the hill, boys, up the hill. Now, is there any Union? There's no Union to defend this, and this flank is just getting bigger and bigger. This force is over here, too. Just, it keeps getting more and more serious, more and more overwhelming. Oh, there's just and they're starting to advance up Culp's Hill now. Look how steep this hill actually is guys Look how steep of an incline they have to go up That is a serious climb here now. We haven't gotten to the battle of little round top which We all know if you've seen the movie Gettysburg, you know all about the 20th mains hold on little round top I'm excited for that battle. We're probably gonna play it today. Oh my goodness artillery bouncing in Hitting the New Jer New York, New Yorkers. Nice hold here. A lot of New York boys, they are holding this earthwork. Still have more, the 137th. Gonna try to get in that position. Oh, the Confederates are already volleying them. Already volleying in here as they start pushing forward more and more forces here. They're just trying to overwhelm us. And uh, it seems to be working thus far. They forced us to fall back significantly. Now we do, like I said, we do have the Earthworks held. Oh, nice volleys. Are they dropping anybody? Nope. Well, you had done missed all your shots. What's going on, New York? What's going on? But my men are not in position yet, so uh, something's got to change. The Confederates are getting real close here. Especially if their officer is yelling at them, telling them, go up the hill as fast as possible, man. Push up the hill, run. And then they rush to the top, and then they're exhausted. And they can't even aim, can't even shoot. Now, we finally got reinforcements. So, you know, this small, small little reserve. Even the Brooklyn, which it's kind of ironic, actually. We took some heavy losses on the first days, and these units here were way bigger on the first day. So, just goes to like show, maybe, you know, they have small units because they took heavy losses. Being told to get into battle formation the second day. They're, they're pouring into the trench line. Also, the pathfinding in this hill was quite awful. But yeah, I have some units finally getting up here. Man, they seem to get up closer. They seem to get there much sooner. They're, what are they doing? They're taking too long. More and more reinforcements. I'm shifting over generals, artillery. So, here's the problem. And here's how I tried to fix it. Our artillery is basically the thing that is going to save us. Our infantry is not enough. We actually are heavily outnumbered in this battle. So, I was trying to ship my artillery get an angle fire along the side here um it's either that or maybe i should maybe i should have pushed him over here and fired along this flank um in hindsight maybe that would have been better i don't know uh, this is the first time playing any of these scenarios so it's it, it it was interesting i'm trying to get an angle on this this infantry but it just this hill's in the way and i can't support any of this and i have the majority of the guns um 
but with the majority of the guns, I can't do anything with that. So I'm trying to push out in the open field. See if I can't get right here and just fire along the side here. Maybe get some good kills, some blanket fire. Help out that little Culp's Hill uh, holdout. Now over here, it does look like the New Yorkers holding strong for now. Take Hold the rib out. Holding that small trench in here, cheering. It'd be a cool detail if they added a regimental flag to the American flag and the regimental flag. Two flags, you know, that'd just be... It's, it's not important, but it would look really cool, I think. Like each unit having that, you know, they had their, 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 uh... United States flag. Ooh, the Iron Brigade's getting up. Oh, you know they could hit the Virginia boys, which you can tell they're diverting fire directly at them. Look how close these guys are, too. My men are almost here. The reinforcements are almost up. Imagine being these guys you rushed up to see men just holding along the line. Oh yeah, they broke to a volley from the Iron Brigade. These guys are here to stay for at least a little while, but look at all the reserves. And they break just in time for these units to get in position and hold the hill. If they'll fire, they don't seem to want to fire. Holy cow. Musket bug is uh, affecting them, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they'll fire. There we go. Oh, board into them. Look at that go. But there is just reserve upon reserve of Confederates. And uh, they seem to be also pushing a left flank. But with the reserves, hopefully we can hold them. Hold them back. This is going to be a desperate, bloody fight here. More reserves. Iron Brigade is shifting over towards this hill. This seems to be a very serious attack um, coming up. I have put up some troops here along the side as well. Trying to just catch this flank. Now, over here, his artillery was starting to focus me down. Um, obviously... But, same time, you know, it is diverting forces away from hitting this hill with artillery, which is a good thing. A very good thing. My rest of my reserves are coming up. Um, another artillery crew is coming up. I already have one over here trying to just soften up whatever I can. I should have maybe pushed down to take this, this uh, trench. I don't know if that would have done much. Ooh, nice shots here. But we have no reserves and they have so many. I know I keep saying that, but I never really got to concentrate on how many forces the Confederates have. Let's see if these, uh, if this is, what, Massachusetts or Missouri? Oh my goodness, you guys, uh, you guys had to have seen that volley. Oh, now, now the counter volley. Oh, that was a good volley. That was a really good volley. So we're going to push along the flank here, trying to outflank them on this right side. He has reserves. These guys are holding actually well for now. As uh, the Confederates... Just constantly pouring in volleys. They know they got to win this over time. They got to win it for General Lee. And of course, it's firing behind the lines. Wonder if that's helping. But they just managed to get so close. Ooh. Iron Brigade pushing up. Oh, why are they firing? Oh, they're not firing. Oh, the Confederates are going to fire. 
Oh, this armor brigade's gonna get executed. They aren't firing. There is this is what I was saying about the pathfinding. Some fire orders, but they just aren't. They just aren't doing it. That's right. You see artillery though starting to like hit the side now with the forest they actually get some sort of defense against it um so even though i was getting some good hits um it wasn't it wasn't a huge huge thing here i'm really confused as to what this iron brigade is oh man it's such a huge unit 400 men i don't think yeah anyway, man oh no oh no Iron Brigade is going to get shredded if we get close to that. Hey, this this uh, 33rd holding strong. 153rd as well. They've taken some losses already, but they are holding. Um, now, we do have a Confederate flank here. I'm going to get my artillery on it immediately. And, of course, I have some reserves, which are immediately going to push up here. we got to deal with that flank. He has some reserves as well, just in case this line starts pushing out. All the rest of my units are going to be up on this hill um, in the event that we do get overrun. There we go. Iron Brigade firing now. It's not enough of them to really make a dent in this huge 450-man unit. And they're getting even closer. Pour it into them, boys. Pour it into them. Come on. Get a volley. Get a volley. Oh, I want to see this volley. Come on. they're not firing part of them are but not all of them are this unit is gotten some heavy losses but they are standing as best they can here um like i said i have that flake force moving but this is the concern is this real i mean they're going straight for like the toughest position to attack and you would think that we should have a little bit more here, but I do not think to put better units here. Or more of them. I mean, I have reserves, I guess. I guess it's not bad. And both sides seem to not be firing, because they're just standing here. Not returning any volleys. Oh, the sun in your eyes. That should affect shooting. I feel like that should affect the shooting. Yeah, they're not firing at all either. Sheesh. Yeah, so we did have a concerning flake, so my units are pushing up here to stop this. Of course, they have a fence and a road. Um, that's going to do well for them. And, uh, yeah, so I, I probably, sh probably should consider pushing back. I have artillery set up over here as well. Um, he is starting to focus down. He pushed up to attack my artillery position. Ooh, nice hit with artillery, though. I was kind of hoping he would attack because I have artillery just waiting for them. But I really want my artillery to be able to help out on this flank. 153rd guys, they have only 154 men left out of about 276. They've taken some heavy losses, but they have held so well. The drummer's still alive. The officer's still alive. Black Bear unfortunately has fallen. I'm falling back. That is a tough position to attack and assault. So now we're just going to have artillery do their best. I should have kept focusing on this side. I mean, because look at this. They're just... They're hitting us so hard, guys, and we're going to start running low. But for now, we are holding well. This massive unit, new 
North Carolina. Looking a little bit thin here. 135 men left. Starting to thin me out pretty pretty quickly here. Um, thankful we have a uh, another regiment, but it's it's pretty depleted as well. And look at this unit, heavily depleted now. I feel like I have the hill advantage, but it doesn't seem to be really working. They, these guys are wavering really, really quickly here. I bet you this, this uh, trench is working more in their favor than mine at the moment. But if I had pushed down here, I probably would have gotten point blanked. But either way, you know. You're right. Nice blanking volleys, though. Man. They got, they got the, the veterans on the flank here. They're just tearing up the side. I have a nice defensive position in the Grove. I have reserve, the Ohio. Artillery still trying to focus, soften them up. More reserves now pushing forward here. Why should I have artillery focus on this area? Um, but yeah, I'm re we're realizing that the uh, Culp's Hill definitely looking very, very wavering. I mean, these four... Massachusetts, is it Massachusetts? I think it's Massachusetts. 33rd. They are uh, almost spent. And they do rout. And I should have seen it coming and put a true uh, force up. Iron Brigade is going to push forward here. As the Confederates now start advancing directly into the hill. Or I say, as they start to crest the top of the hill. My 153rd is going to have to maybe swap out for a second. My artillery still isn't getting the best of angles. So you guys, that's the thing. Artillery just can't help us. It can't help us. I should, I should have tried to figure out another way to... Get it to uh, work. Maneuver a little bit better here. Oh man, look at this. These guys are still marching. They're getting shot in the flank here. Alright, so the Brave 153rd is getting switched out with the fresh Connecticut. I, I'm assuming that's Connecticut. 17th Connecticut. They've now taken their place. I should have gone for an angle here. I should have, uh, if I had one more, if I had one more regiment, I would have pushed up here and hit this angle. Because these guys are barely taking losses. And they're just doing really well. Nice volley by the Iron Brigade, but they're just such a small amount of them. They're just not doing too hot. Yeah, the reserves are pushing up because that's all we got left. The fact of the matter is, guys, we know we're starting to lose. I mean, we have taken only any, nothing but losses. We haven't broken a single Confederate unit yet. I don't think actually a single Confederate union ha unit has broken... Maybe over here. I don't even actually think so. I think, yeah, we haven't broken a single one yet. Not a good sign. And there goes a second one. Is now the masses of reinforcements that probably could have been really well used over here are uh, pushing up to the hill. I am, of course, taking the rest of this hill trying to defend that flank. I probably could have pulled one of these and put them over here. You know. But yeah, I got Ames coming up now. Another general. I am uh, yes, committing the... The... Uh, what, the 54th? But 
These guys are just getting out shot. This is a terrible angle, and they have just so many forces here. I'm going to fall back as they're just... Man, I should have... Well, at this point, we should have just pulled back from this earthwork to try to defending the hill and the stone wall, maybe. But pulling these guys out, they're going to... You're going to take some heavy losses. But yeah, you can see the Union just... These small units just getting shredded up really fast and can't hold very long. As this Confederate flank is just peeling through. And keep in mind, guys, there's tons of reserves still right here. The Confederates have plenty to hit this hill with. Oh, wow. The Brooklyn boys ran immediately. They barely got a fight. Uh-oh. Give him the cold steel. But things aren't looking too good here. I popped, uh, I think either I, I may have popped a rally or an inspire or something like that. Or they did, I'm not sure. But still, 28 men versus 191, it's not gonna work. But if anything, it may buy time. So that this, the Pennsylvania's, Pennsylvania Regiment can uh, hold the top of this hill. Oh wow, another bayonet charge going in, giving them the cold seal charging down a hill. It's gotten serious now. I mean, the general's sitting right here. He's definitely sheltered from the bullets, which is nice. Must be nice. Um, but man, they repel that one too. And uh, the mass route keeps going. We're pulling back from the earthworks. You can see here, totally getting outflanked. We didn't have enough to be able to really deal with this. I had three, but I mean, Gotta try to stretch them thin, a little more thin, but now we're just trying to have the artillery hold. Things aren't looking too good here. We have another Iron Brigade pushing up. And, but we did finally start breaking some Confederates. You know, we did start seeing some breakage. If we can hit this whole side and repel them, then we can win this. We can do it. We can. Um, I'm actually uh, pushing a little more aggressively here. See the artillery is still really trying to soften up. Oh, what? How did he die? Was that an artillery shell or just random artillery? Oh, what? We got... There we go. Louisiana, fresh reinforcements. Going to assault this hill once more. We're, we're just getting stretched pretty thin. Mighty thin here. Are those bullets flying all the way over? <clears throat> no, that's artillery. to this 153rd and they are holding strong they have been fighting this entire time um, with only a small break and going up against fresh reinforcements here this iron brigade has to hold they have to. We're going back to a defensive position here using the guns. Um, hopefully these guns are going to be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, soften up the uh, Confederate advance. 
They have plenty of forces to start really pushing in here. They can actually start going for this as well. I mean, I only have a couple regiments to hold that. Flags here. And the Iron Brigade breaks. more forces now pouring in we are sending in a fresh reserve unit although they yeah they're fine at least we have some fresh guys you know in the battlefield for now guess we'll see how long that lasts <laughs> they're not gonna stay fresh for very long and uh let's see we've only gone through like 30 minutes of this battle and things seem a little bit rough thus far. Oh, the flag bearer died. No. Um, we still have, you know, part of the uh, flank still being guarded as the Confederates start advancing here. And this hill, you can you can tell that it's getting fought hard, but you can hear the roll of muskets. Smoke everywhere. And uh, this flank getting held now. We have men in the uh, stone fence trying our best to hold. Artillery trying to fire. I don't think it was actually even hitting. But yeah, the, the flank is caving, guys. We are just like a hair away from total destruction here. I did push out my forces. I pushed out some infantry as well. At this point, it's all or nothing. Yeah, look at this. Getting some good hits on this infantry is just not enough. It's not enough. in mortal peril. Look at that. They are so close. We're holding for now, though. Um, although this definitely is looking a little bit rough along this side. We do have some units that are very tired, so they're not very effective. Trying to rest them up. Oh, we actually broke a, a regiment again. Artillery hitting this nice angle here. As these guys are kind of almost fighting back to back. Another unit breaks. Yes, Trying to path by. The guys didn't want to really, you know, charge, but that's okay. I said pathfinding will be a bit of a nightmare. Oh man, 153rd. Yes, Got 63 men left, and somehow, somehow they're still in this. Although my front line just broke. So we gotta send in the last or last of the reserves here. We used all of our inspires, all our rallies, guys. This is just looking extremely rough here. The Confederates are pushing up the last of their reserves, so we have caused them to spend a lot of forces taking this hill. Or attempting to take the hill. Oh, 
Oh no, 53rd, 153rd. My hero of a regiment made it very well here. So we are actually starting to make some headway here. You can see them, the, they're, they're concerned, but they're holding. Um, we did rally, or we did force back a unit. I was trying to get a flank here. We have a good, strong position. If we can hold it. We are driving them back, one at a time here. It's a really good unit. This good unit could have been probably used. A better effect in the hill, but you know, someone had to stop this flank. This was unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Our units just keep breaking here. And we have no reserves. Nothing left. The line is as it stands. Siren Brigade probably is a hair breath away from routing themselves. And there it goes. We have a nice flank here, though. I mean, these are some really small units. But, you know, maybe they can do something. Do something. But the lines you can see is starting to just crumble under such a heavy concentrated fire. Oh, any regiments we have left. I mean, they're forming up by the stone wall, but oh man, these guys are tired. It's not gonna matter. My artillery is getting focused down just because the, the bullets were just bouncing right around them and you can see. My artillery killing friendly troops. Probably is. And we just start breaking them a little bit here, so we're gonna keep pressing forward. We can get some artillery to really focus down to this side. Maybe, maybe a miracle can happen. We could use it right about now. Holy moly. Okay, that's kind of cool. Very orange, though. Is there even any union up here now? No. The 14th Brooklyn is coming to try to stand them. But, you know. Uh, like I said. It, it's, it's pushing forward very tired units that have come back. So the effectiveness is not going to be really on par. And uh, we still need, what was it, 170 something minutes? We still need like another 15 to 20 minutes, I think, before we can uh, claim that we held it for an hour, which is with the rule. And uh, we are definitely starting to lose it. They are pushing up. And getting a bayonet charge here. Ooh, nice counter volleys here, though. I won't stand very long, but still beautiful. And the bayonets giving them the cold steel here. One desperate last charge. Both sides now fight viciously to see who can actually take and hold this hill. 
Oh, you missed. Now this flank is caving in, I think I can say officially that they have, once this unit breaks, they have officially taken Culp's Hill. Um, and that is going to be, unfortunately, unless we can counterattack within the next, you know, 15 minutes, that would be a loss. And yeah, we're starting to just break along the entire line. Um, yeah. Entirely defeated, I would say. And artillery finally has gotten a decent position, but still, it's not gonna be enough I mean I've been hammering this side of this hill it's it's not really doing a whole lot the forest is just really well the terrain favored the Confederates very well for this battle um, which is kind of ironic since considering we're holding the high ground and I mean the high ground did favor us for a defense at first but we just didn't have enough men we did not have enough men unfortunately to really be able to hold this so yeah you can see victorious Confederates pushing across the hill Pushing over, starting to break our units. We're starting to break along the wall. I mean, my units have held here, but I mean, they, they're they getting pretty tired too. And they've been just evenly pitted against a couple regiments of Confederates, so it's not like there was a ton. You know, and they're gonna have to fall back here. But yeah, I think we just called it in the second. We just call it. Because obviously we're not going to play the entirety of the battle. That'd just be too much. Um, yeah, because we, we, we're just falling back. They're just pushing us back. There's no way to really reconsolidate our forces. Um, they just were able to uh, push. But still a fun game. It was very close for a little while there. Holding that hill. Desperate, desperate stand. We took some heavy losses here. Um, and you can see not a lot down in the forest. I mean, the only place it was a heavy casualty cost i think for the confederates was right here um i guess they took some heavy losses here but yeah the union we just we just uh got outflanked in many many different places i think we really gave it to them right over here they lost some they lost a lot here yeah they lost quite a lot i mean just shows you guys how good fences are look at this you see there's barely any losses. We were standing in a line fight with them. You can see. Yeah, you can see right here. Like, look how many men we lost compared to how many men they lost standing shooting at the fence. Fences do weary, so sir. well. Even here, which, you know, this unit fight fighting for quite some time. Um, they were able to really whittle down the enemy. And uh, the pretty decisive win there. Fences, guys. Fences. Stone fences. I actually want to play Fredericksburg. That would be so much fun. Uh, another one of my favorite battles is Fredericksburg. Yeah, no, we're we're just. I think we're about. We're I think right now we're just discussing the fact that you know we don't need to keep playing another you know hour and a half of this battle. It's over. We've lost. It was a fun game. There you go. So you can see how many men we had compared to how many men they had. Um, I had twenty nine, basically three thousand. Matt Bob had thirty three. Um, well, it had 36 or 37, basically. And, uh, well, actually, I just had 20. I didn't have three. And then, uh, you know, 4,800. So they outnumbered us quite significantly. We still gave them, you know, a vicious fight. Still, you know, didn't let them easily take that hill. You can see my men actually did really well. 153rd with only 276 men. And they lost heavily. And they held my best was the fourth Ohio, which I think was actually on the flank here. Curious what their stats were. They probably had some really good stats. They didn't lose very many at all. Wow. But yeah, that's the battle, guys. Like I said, there'll be the Battle of Little Round Top next, and then Pickett's Charge. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Pickett's Charge is, is gonna be amazing. So, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for joining me. Hope you guys are enjoying this little mini series. Um, I'm not going away from NGW3, promise. Just you know. Love the American Civil War as well, and it's an amazing mod. And I think it actually works with NTW3, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all in another video.